In the previous video I showed you a bunch of stuff I bought from the flea market. One of them was this camera, a Canon SX100. And if you remember I tested it, but unfortunately it didn't work. I really want to have this camera model in my collection, so today I will try to fix it. I don't have high hopes about this camera, because some of the screws are missing. That means someone tried to fix the camera, and typically this is the worst thing that can happen to you if you fix electronics. If someone has opened the device before you and it still doesn't work, that means the problem is not that easy. Also, some people are not very good at repairing and they may do more damage to the device. Anyway, I will try. When I insert batteries, the camera doesn't turn on. But sometimes the Canon logo appears barely visible on the display. So let's open it up and find out what the problem is. I use this Wong screwdriver. It's not very comfortable, but it has very good grip on the small screws. This here is a battery. This battery keeps the time and date, as well as the settings you make on the camera. This battery is necessary because when you change the main batteries, the camera needs some power to remember the settings. When you are trying to repair cameras, it's most important to be careful with the ribbon cables. Most of the beginners fail with these cables. They are very fragile and if you damage them, it's very difficult to find a replacement. There is one here that won't let me to remove this plastic. I need to find where it is attached. Maybe I will have to remove that plastic that's on top first to get to the connector. But how to remove it? Something is holding it. Maybe there are hidden screws somewhere. And yeah, there are two screws under the flash. And now I can remove that ribbon cable. Ok, I don't see any damage here, a little darkening of the buttons here, but I don't think that's the problem. I will have to disassemble more. I removed the display and saw this little ribbon cable. It was not attached. The person who opened the camera before didn't connect the cable, and this cable is actually for the display backlight. That's why we see a black screen. So I'm thinking of hooking up the cable and putting some of the parts together and see if the display will light up.
Let's put the batteries. Okay, the display is working and the display told us what the problem is. A problem with the lens. This is good news and bad news at the same time. The good thing is that we know what the problem is. But the bad thing is that the lenses of these cameras are quite complex. They have many parts and sensors and it's all made of fragile plastic. They are very difficult to fix. I have to disassemble and remove the lens. This metal plate is connected by a ribbon cable to here and then to the flash and then the flash is connected here. I don't know how to detach them. I will remove the front plastic. I have something very very important to say here. Every camera that has a flash has a capacitor. This is a high voltage capacitor and contains a charge of hundreds of volts. If you touch the terminals of this capacitor it can kill you. Be very careful when repairing cameras. This is where the capacitor is hidden. Ok, I took almost the whole camera apart just to get access to the lens. I don't know if I will be able to put it all back together later. Let me try to move this. Nothing happens. There is an electric motor here. Uh, let's apply some voltage. Maybe one battery. Just one battery. And nothing happens. Ok, let's try it with two batteries. It's a big pain to hold batteries and touch the cables at the same time. Ok, it makes some changes. Let's switch the plus and minus. Okay, it works. 
Ok. I hope that the lens was just stuck and there is no damage inside, no broken parts. Sometimes the lubricant hardens in the lens and makes it difficult to move. Sometimes some particles of dust get uh, between the gears and make it difficult to move. I hope it's just that. I will reassemble some parts and test if the camera will move the lens by itself. Yeah, it works. I will put the camera back together and hope the problem is fixed. The moment of truth. Yes, it works. We have a picture. The lens is dirty and I will clean it outside. Unfortunately, I won't be able to clean the inside of the lens. There is some dust inside, uh, but it's difficult to disassemble the lens. Maybe I will clean it up later when I get more skilled in this. That was the video for today. I hope you like it and if you want more repairs and more interesting old devices, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to support the channel so that I can buy more things to show you, you can find me on Patreon. I will leave a link in the description. Thank you very much.